My favorite holiday is Halloween. I love the change of the seasons with that crisp air and the smell of wood burning fireplaces. Mm, I love it, but nothing better than toasting it with a fresh cocktail and no funny mixes. I make mine fresh. We're gonna use fresh Granny Smith apple juice. I'm gonna show you how amazing, delicious, and fall festive this caramel apple martini is. Hey guys, I'm Shreem. Cook this first to get started. So we need to puree our apples to get that sweet tart apple juice. So I'm using a vegetable fruit juicer. You could also use a food processor if you don't have a juicer. And then all you're gonna wanna do is peel your apples, core them. You don't want any of those seeds and then dice them, put them in your food processor, puree them until they basically look like applesauce and then remove it to a bowl that's lined with cheesecloth. Bring it out and there's your juice. But of course, don't forget, don't forget to add the lemon juice. That way it stays a pretty color. But I'm gonna make it even easier with my juicer. I'm just basically coring them. So when you use the juicer, it's okay to leave the skins on because the juicer takes care of all the work. I'm gonna prep all my apples. We're gonna get them juiced. I'm gonna add my apples right in and quickly puree the juice. I already went ahead and added a little bit of lemon juice into the container that the juice will dump into, just to preserve that beautiful color from the freshly pureed Granny Smith apple juice. There's our fresh apple juice. You can't beat it. The mixes are no good. This is the way, this is where it's at. All right, I'm just gonna clean up my area and we're gonna start mixing our cocktail. So you just wanna skim the froth so it does get a little frothy. So as you can see, it was a lot easier with my juicer, but it also works with a food processor as well. You can also go to the newspaper's website and I'll break it down for you and just show you how easy it is with the food processor as well. Now, as it sits, it will darken just a little bit. So that lemon juice will gives it just a beautiful, bright, fresh flavor. And it will preserve the color a little bit, but if it darkens, don't worry. So now to prep the martini glass. So I have caramel sauce. You just wanna take a little of the caramel sauce, a little goes a long way. I'm gonna stick it into the microwave just for a few seconds, just to make it even more pliable because we are going to coat the rim of our glass. Our martini glass is perfectly chilled, so this recipe makes four. Then I have the caramel sauce that's warm. So you just wanna take two rim plates, one for the caramel sauce, and we're just gonna rim in the caramel. And then I went ahead earlier, I took some lightly salted peanuts, put them into my food processor, and just ground them up until they were nice and fine. All right, this is the beginning stages of an adult caramel apple martini. Now to make the cocktail. So you want a good quality vodka. And then obviously fill it with ice. I almost forgot that part. <laughs> so you want this to be really, really cold. And this is great during the holidays, whether it be Thanksgiving, Halloween, when you're entertaining. This is caramel apple liqueur. And then our freshly pureed apple juice. So a little goes a long way. So it gives a tart flavor, a sweetness. So we have that sweet border on our glass. Then we have the tart flavor that mimics the apple. And then shake vigorously for about 30 seconds. You want it ice cold. We're ready. 
So the last time I made a cocktail, you joined me. This time, I hope you'll join me again. This is fresh, it's sweet, it rings in the holiday season with Halloween and Thanksgiving. It makes it fall, fun, and festive. For this cocktail, go to the newspaper's website. Look up this recipe and make it for your family and friends. They will love you for it. And visit me on Facebook and Twitter for more culinary tips. I'm Shreem with Cook This. Thanks for watching. Cheers to you.